Let me introduce you to the Victrix Gladio V. This rifle is from their professional series and is designed for law enforcement, military and sporting use. All rifles have lethal potential, so you must follow the basic safety rules. I'm now gonna go through the normal safety precautions for this rifle to prove that it's clear. Firstly, I'm going to remove the magazine. Then I'm going to make sure the bolt is to the rear and the safety is on. I'm going to check inside the chamber, inside the body, on the bolt face and make sure that there's no magazine present. Once I'm happy that there are no live rounds or empty cylinders within this rifle, I'm going to shoulder the rifle, bolt forward, safety off, Fire off the action, bolt to the rear, safety on, and then if you have a chamber flag, you can use it. Let's look at the controls of the right hand side of the rifle. So we've got the length of pull lever, the comb height lever, and we've got the monopod locking lever. Then we have the bolt and the red ring indicator, two position safety switch, two stage match trigger, magazine release, multifunction handle, we've got the top rail which is a 20 MOA top rail and that goes the full length of the fore end. It's also got M-lock fittings and Picatinny rails on the bottom of the fore end as well. Moving along to the barrel, on the end we have a muzzle brake. Looking at the left hand side of the rifle, Similar controls to the other side. We have the lever release for the multifunction handle, the bolt release catch, and we also have the stock lock button. Moving down to the rear, we have a butt pad height adjustment button. The rifle is available in 22 inch and 26 inch barrel lengths. The barrel is a benchmark lapped match grade button rifle barrel in AI SI 416R. Muzzle threads are M18 by one and that's on a 21 millimeter thread. The 26 inch barrel version weighs 6.55 kilos, which is 14.44 pounds. And that's with a muzzle brake, an empty magazine, uh, and no scope fitted. Every component on the rifle is hard black anodized down to 30 microns. This rifle is Cerakoted in dark gray polymer, but you can also get olive drab and medium flat brown. The rifle has a short action in AISI 630, and it's worked out from billet through milling and turning. It's finished on electro discharge and grinding machinery for a smooth finish. There is a matte PVD finish on the action and polished PVD finish on the bolt. The physical vapor deposition coating improves the appearance, durability and function of the action. The rifle comes with one single stack seven round magazine, but it's AICS compatible so other magazines will fit. It comes fitted with a Victrix Professional dual stage trigger which is also convertible to a single stage trigger. It comes fitted with the Victrix Pro Angle detachable muzzle brake, which features three forward canted chambers. This rifle is fitted with a detachable multifunction carry handle made from light aluminium alloy 6082. The handle has a quick mount attachment to attach it to the Picatinny rail, a hook for rope attachment, QD mounts, a tripod attachment with a one quarter 20 UNC and a 3 8 16 UNC thread. The handle weighs 281 grams, which is 9.91 ounces. The Victrix Gladio is fitted with a Picatinny scope mounting rail that is pinned and screwed to the action. This has a built-in 20 MOA angle and the rail runs the full length of the forend. To fold the stock, Press the stop lock button and rotate the stock to the folded position.
To unfold, rotate the stock out until it locks in position. When adjusting the comb height, assume a shooting position behind the firearm. Use the comb lock lever to release the comb and then adjust the comb to the desired height and then secure the lock lever. To adjust the length of pull, release the length of pull lever and then pull out the buttstock until you reach the desired length and then lock the lever in place. You can adjust the height of the butt pad using the little button here. So if we depress the button, you can slide the butt pad up or down and it has several notches within the butt pad so that you can set this to your desired height. You can adjust the height of the built-in monopod by using the lever here. So release the lever and then raise the rifle to your desired height and then lock the lever in place. To remove the bolt from the rifle, first we need to fold the stock. With the stock folded, we press on the bolt release button and then slide the bolt to the rear. To disassemble the bolt, we need to turn the bolt knob a quarter of a turn clockwise. This will reveal a small 2mm hole at the top of the bolt. As part of the rifle kit, it came with a 2mm pin. This 2mm pin goes into the hole and that will allow you then to unscrew the bolt from the bolt assembly. To reassemble the bolt, we take the bolt and the bolt carrier, place them inside each other and then just screw them together. All the way until it stops, then you can remove the pin and then carefully rotate the bolt knob around about a quarter of a turn until it clicks. So it should click just before it goes into the lug. To replace the bolt in the rifle, press the bolt locking lever, position the bolt on top of the rifle, slide it in, let go of the button. When you're certain the rifle is unloaded, you can unfold the stock, run the bolt forwards, and that will reveal the red indicator, which indicates that the rifle is cocked. To decock the rifle, simply fire off the action. Before you go to the range, you need to check if you have a muzzle brake fitted, that it is fitted securely, so it's nice and tight on the end of the barrel. Another thing you need to do is carry out a bore obstruction check. This is particularly important if it's a brand new rifle, as you may have oils and grease left over from the manufacturing process. So the best thing you can do is fold the stock, remove the bolt, and then look through the barrel from the action end, just to make sure that there are no obstructions present. And I can see nice and clearly through this barrel. place the bolt and lock the stock back in place. If you have a brand new rifle, you will need to break in the barrel. The break in and cleaning cycle will help improve the accuracy of your rifle over time. Carrying out a correct breaking procedure on your rifle will ensure that any micro imperfections within the rifling or the barrel itself are smoothed out. To break the barrel in, operate a shoot one, clean one cycle for the first 10 rounds. Then, after you've completed that cycle, shoot four groups of five rounds, cleaning between each five rounds. When you're cleaning, make sure you use the correct caliber cleaning rod, jag, 
patches and fluid for your rifle. I would highly recommend using Bortec Eliminator or something similar and the Bortec patch jags between each of the cycles. If you're going to be storing your rifle for any length of time in the cabinet, always run an oily patch through your barrel, then a clean patch just to take off any oil residue before you stow it away. And now the best bit, let's take this rifle to the range and see what it can do. going to dry fire a couple as well. That is smooth. The Gladio V is a well-manufactured rifle. The engineering on this rifle is second to none. The folding stock, there is like no play in the folding stock, it is rock solid. The Picatinny rail runs the full length so you can have your optic and also there's options for having other night vision equipment or other equipment strapped to the top rail of your rifle. And the built-in 20 MOA rail that runs the full length is ideal for getting that extra elevation for those long range shots. All components on this rifle are high end. The PVD coated bolt is so smooth to operate. All in all, this is a fantastic rifle. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, please hit that like button and leave me a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. If you didn't like this video, thank you very much for watching and I really hope you enjoy some of my other content.